Hello and welcome to my 87th Toolmaster podcast. And uh, today I'm going to take for me the uh, staples from DMR03. Uh, and uh, this is a really special set. Uh, this is like uh, uh, when uh, DM13 came out, that uh, there's just upper set uh, cards that is on team and everything. And, um, and uh, yeah. And uh, and uh, this is a really special set uh, because there is uh, some uh, triple civilization cards. Yeah, it, calm down now. Now and um, uh, yeah, and the the cards for today, <laughs> they are <laughs> yeah, they are really cool. <laughs> Please, um, the first card today. Uh, this has the longest uh, name I've seen so far. <laughs> So for that it barks too much. Okay, uh, the the card is called a uh, combo uh, Cebu uh, Lumber the Super Electromagnet. <laughs> I've used two editors for making this happen. Uh, this is a a, a very rare card, um, evolution creature, and uh, it uh, evolves from uh, fire or uh, nature cards, which is not on team. So <laughs> that, that that's kind of fun, and um, it also have uh, Metro Bone, and uh, when this card attacked, you uh, can take the card under it into the graveyard, and uh, you draw three cards. It also have Double Breaker, uh, and uh, in the start of your turn, uh, you can take uh, cards that are not um, uh, not and um, Evolution creature in under this card in the beginning of a turn, so you can use the meta burn um, even more times. Uh, next card uh, is um, uh, Nature Darkness spell. It's called uh, Hyperspatial uh, Group Black Green Hall. <laughs> yes, there are some uh, long names. Uh, this card. Yeah. Okay, uh, this card, uh, of course you have to tap it when you put it in the mana zone. Uh, and um, uh, choose one uh, creature from uh, your um, your uh, graveyard into your mana zone. Uh, this was the greatest card of those, because there are similar cards uh, that are multicolor. Uh, this one is has the best effect. And you can take a card, one card, uh, that cost 5 mana or less uh, from your hyperspatial zone into your battle zone and um, no other restrictions uh, so th that's kinda great and uh, yeah, that card was a common one uh, this one is super rare uh, this one is called um, uh, Warring Morals the uh, uh, Emperor Org Blade and it's got Nature Creature yes oh. If you if you check uh, check the uh, the shiny hair, it's awesome. <laughs> and uh, this card is um, when this car card attack, you take a non-evolution creature from uh, from uh, from your hand into the battle zone. And uh, that's kind of cool because this this one cost eight and it have uh, thirteen thousand power. Uh, that's nothing for um, for nature civilization. So, um, that is a really great card, uh, and super rare of course, uh, but still, I um, have it with me because it's so awesome. <laughs> uh, next card is a uh, light fire uh, creature called uh, this uh, music uh, ranger of Gaia. Okay, so I have uh, 4 mana and uh, 3500 in power. Uh, it, of course, tap it when you put it in the mana zone. Uh, it has blocker and it also have a space charge, uh, light and fire. So if you put a light creature into the mana zone, uh, uh, it uh, releases the ability that uh, in the end of your turn you can untap uh, your creatures, all your creatures. So you can even attack with blockers and block with them uh, in, the, in the same turn. And if you put a fire creature into the battle zone, uh, it says here that um, uh, that the card gets speed attacker and power attacker 2000 plus. 
Or what I say, if you put a uh, light fire uh, card into the mana zone, you'll get both. <laughs> that, that's kind of awesome. Uh, and the last card uh, for this set, uh, Nature Spell, uh, this one. This is called uh, Holy Land Rebirth. And yeah, this card costs 5 mana. The ability is the thing that makes this card good because you take all the. Listen up, yeah. This costs 5 mana. And you put all the cards from your graveyard into your mana zone. Tapped, of course. Yeah. So in the next turn, you will have a whole lot of mana. And by the time you get 5 mana, you should have some cards in, uh, in your graveyard. You should have, <laughs> and uh, if you're even further in the game, well, eventually you will get a lot of mana. Uh, and uh, yes, I'm proud of this. That was the top card, and uh, this time I was able to get uh, one from each rarity. <laughs> I like this set. This is a good set if you're a beginner, for example. Uh, like uh, yeah, those cards, and uh, there are some triple uh, civilization cards here. Where you have uh, two cards that are on team and one that's not on team of, uh, with every one of them. And it's always like this in this set. And it's always cards that is not on team in uh, the multicolors. So uh, <laughs> uh, that is really great. That was everything for today. Uh, later up I will have some more news coming up and uh, stuff. And uh, the next time I will take for me the newest set, which is uh, uh, DMR04. And uh, now I finally made it. Uh, the set just came out, I have to buy it, and then I can review it as a new set. So, see you next time.